I'm Professor Joanna Wardlaw. I'm a Professor of Applied Neuroimaging at the University of Edinburgh. I've been involved in the trial right from the very beginning. I was involved in designing the protocol. I've been on the steering committee and I had particular responsibility for designing the way in which patients would be scanned and how we would uh, interpret and understand those scans in the context of the trial. So our RTPA is also uh, called Alteplase. It's part of a class of drugs called thrombolytic drugs, meaning clot dissolving. It's a class of compounds which are quite widely available in nature. You have them in your own body as part of your, um, the system that manages your blood clotting. Um, it's the one that's been most widely tested in stroke. It's widely used in heart attacks. It's got a very long history now of widespread use. The RTPA is the one with the most um, people have the most experience with and it's the one that already has a license for treatment in stroke but that license is quite restricted so you have to be treated within a certain time frame and you have to be under the age of 80 and, and various other characteristics so that was why we tested it in IST3. What is IST3? Well it's a large-scale randomized control trial where half the people get the clot busting treatment and half don't. That's the only way to find out if the treatment does more good than harm. The main finding of the trial is that for patients who got treatment within the first three hours, they were much less likely to be left with disability. In fact, they made a better recovery, they were more likely to make a complete recovery, they were less likely to need help from other people in their everyday activities. Well, this is really exciting news for people who are over 80 in particular because we didn't have effective treatment for people who were older, who were having such devastating strokes. And there's no doubt that these trial results will be of benefit not only to the patients but their families and also the doctors who are going to treat them. This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh.